Today we're gonna calculate IPv4 address subnetting. When given an IPv4 address, the original subnet mask and the new subnet mask, you will be able to determine the network address, the broadcast address, range of host addresses, number of subnets created, and the number of hosts per subnet. We have here the given table and the tree given. The host IP address, which is the 10.72384.145. And this is a class A IP address. The original subnet mask of the of class A is 255.0.0.0 or also known as slash 8. While the new subnet mask 255.255.192.0 is a slash 18. So how did we get the 18? We must first convert this into its binary form, which is here. And count all the ones from left to right. So eight ones here, eight ones here, and two here. So there are eight plus eight, sixteen plus two, eighteen ones or slash eighteen. To get the number of subnet bits, we must subtract these two. Eighteen minus eight, which will become ten. So there are 10 number of subnet bits. The number of subnets created, there is a formula to be remembered, which is 2 to the n. So n represents the number of subnet bits. This is n. So 2 to the 10 is equals to 1024. The number of host bits per subnet, we're gonna subtract 32 and 18. Because here, we have 4 octets, so there will be 32. 32 minus 18 is equals to 14. Here, the number of hosts per subnet, there is also a formula to be remembered. 2 to the h minus 2. h represents number of host bits per subnet. So this is the h. So it will become 2 to the 14 minus 2 is equals to 16,382. So there are 16,382 number of hosts per subnet. Now to get the network address of the subnet, we must convert this into its binary form and then a new subnet mask into its binary form. This is the binary form of this IP address, this is the given, and this is the, IP, the binary form of the given new subnet mask. We will be copying the portions of type address which corresponds to 255 so we have here 255 to 10 so it will be 10 here we have 73 and 255 so we're gonna copy 73 this is the first two portions of the network address now we have here 192.0 and 84.145 these last two octets are the network portion now to get the network address we're gonna use the binary ending method binary ending meaning we're gonna recall this one the zero zero is equal to zero one zero 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 one zero and one one is one we'll start here zero 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 and one zero here one and one it will become one well, the rest will be zero since there are no ones and ones. That we're gonna convert this into decimal using this one. We're gonna write this here: zero, one, zero, 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 which is sixty-four here. While well, this is zero, all are zeros. So this is the network address. Now to get the first IPv4 address of first host on the subnet, we're gonna copy these two network portions, 73. 
that's six and also this third one and we're gonna add one here in zero to become one since this is the first host in the subnet now to get the last host we're gonna use again binary form of this first host we have 10 that's 73 that one this is the first host so we're just gonna convert these last two portions to become 0100 zero, zero, zero. and this one become since this is one and this is one now we're gonna get the number of subnet bits this is the n and the number of host bits per subnet so we're gonna write above here for us an is to have us an easier way of getting the last host i'm gonna write above here the h from right to left so there are 14 host bits So this is 14 h 14 host bits and we got 10 network bits so here and the this one 73 the second octet which has eight ends which also have eight bits so here we're just gonna use the last two octets here so to get the last host, we're gonna convert the host the host bits part only. So we're just gonna copy this zero one, while all of these will be converted into their opposite bit. So zero will become one. While one will become zero. So we're gonna convert this to here zero one 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 so this will become one twenty seven while here we have here This will become 254. So our last host is 10.73.127.254. This is our last host of the subnet. To get the IPB for broadcast address, we're just gonna add one here in 254. Which is here. This is our. These are all the answers for this given IP address, the original subnet mask, and the new subnet mask. Always remember the formula for the number of subnets created, which is two to the n, while the number of hosts per subnet, which is two to the h minus two. Here we're just gonna subtract the new subnet mask from thirty-two. We use 32 since there are 4 octets in an address and there are 8 bits in an octet. So 8 times 4, there, is, there are 32 bits. While we're gonna subtract the new subnet mask into the original subnet mask. Thank you for watching.